Welcome back, you little devils, to Marvel's Midnight Suns. In the last episode, we... Uh, no, it wasn't the last episode. But we did finish Venom's little story arc. Uh, and then did a little bit of work to get their relationships up. Uh, I did do a little offline play just to get to this point. Uh, where I can <laughs> do a hangout with Venom and get his relationship up. So I'm going to clip in uh, a few little conversations I had with people. Uh, I think they're relatively short. It should just be three segments. And we'll add those in right now. And now I've got some questions about vampires that I was hoping Blade could answer. I have noticed you are very curious about Blade. He's an interesting guy. Mm -hmm. Plus, we're both half human, half something else. We mm -hmm. have common ground there. What do you think of him? You starting to love him? Because he's into you. He is a man of action and follow through. Caretaker trusts his judgment. Mm -hmm. Yes, I get that intensity. I think there's more to Blade than he's letting on. But I'm glad he's way? on our side. End of the world situations forge strong bonds. A half vampire, a resurrected hunter, a half alien. Do not forget the guy whose head routinely catches on fire. Right? The Midnight Suns are one of the more colorful crews I've run with. Who's the more colorful? I think I got under magic skin. This morning, she tossed all the cherry yogurt off the cliff. Good, it's disgusting. Why? She heard I like cherry yogurt. Uh, it might be a little spiteful. Why would she do that? I told her twice to keep a log of every time she opens a portal. She has really. It. I may have been brisk with her the third time. It's. I mean, that's. Mm, I don't want to pick that one, but we need the direct points. Security of the Abbey is paramount. You need to know eh. that information. Right, but to be perfectly eh. honest, I don't know if we actually need to know. We Feels don't. Like we should, but. I might just be creating a box to fill it. Enough about that. Don't worry about the two of us beefing over yogurt. My favorite is actually the key lime. Who prefers cherry? <laughs> Tony. He spent the Ew. morning investigating. I heard him ask Strange if ghosts eat yogurt. You can't let him know it was magic. I need to see how his hunt for the yogurt ghost plays out. <laughs> I mean, he has the tools to solve the mystery himself. But cherry yogurt sounds absolutely disgusting. Howdy, partner. What's cracking? You seem quite brisk today. Why shouldn't I be? Got a full eight last night, just started a new Lucky. supplement, and I've got a renewed outlook on my future. Oh, really? Can I try your supplement? That's not what I wanted. Sure, but... Gut explosion, choco loaded peanut butter. Of course, it's some powder. ridiculous it's name like dense. that. So limit your intake to your two hour workout days. Now, what? I offer to spot you right now, but I'm chasing down a story. Mm. A story? I had this revelation. You know, I'm a trained journalist. I get a yes. thrill when I break open a big corporate conspiracy or report on a public good. Uh huh. So you want to do more report? Yeah, we've been so busy fighting Lillian and vampires. I mean, technically, you could report on the vampires. Time, I'm feeling this itch in the back of my head telling me to get out there and dig up some dirt. If you really want to uncover a conspiracy, find out who has been eating the pickled Vargas paws. Hmm? What? Why? Last week, we had a dozen. This week, only one left. <laughs> so what? So, pickled Vargas paws are ritual ingredients. Who in the right mind would eat them? Very good point. Off, that sounds really also sounds disgusting. So I know it's not a midnight snack. Second, yeah, I'm thinking much bigger than stories for the Abbey newsletter. I want to look into Dracula's history with the new breed vampires. What's That's exactly what I said. <gasps> yeah. Did he get into a feud with Mephisto? That is also is a good point. true that a secret cabal of vampires controls the internet? Less likely, but that all sounds interesting. Yes, it does. Yeah, probably shouldn't say anything more at this point. You never know who could be listening. Uh, I don't think we have any spies. Spy on us here. There's also like no technology. Exactly. Might as well it's in the 
control wink, room. Wink. Let's keep this between us, okay? Okay. Go to silence. I overheard what you said about the Dracula investigation. Mm-hmm. Ah, crap. Right? I mean, he's standing right there. Sure, you think it's a bad idea, but no, it's a good idea. I uh, do you maybe I don't know need another set of hands on this? Yay! Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, just like old times. The old times where you got me. <laughs> hey man, okay, okay, that was like your own fault. Times. You know what I can do? Tell me how I can pitch in. What if you're a double agent working for the vampires? Really now? Come on, Eddie. You know me. Spider vampire. I'm barely a single agent. Definitely single. <laughs> what? What? It's complicated. Why are you not dating MJ? Symbiote says you aren't lying. So, I guess we can give it a try. As long as you do what I say. That sounds fair. Sure thing. You know, I think this could actually be fun. Really? For who? Both of you? Maybe? Here's a weird question. Do you, like, consider yourself to be a goth? Yes, but I don't have the style for it. What is a goth? Or it's the clothes, I guess. It's a century music and fashion subculture. Kinda hard to explain, but it's people who appreciate what others would see as dark or macabre. Like people who enjoy horror novels and films, and the sad, whiny music you and Magic Excuse you? <laughs> but yes. I called out. Figured since your mom is the mother of demons and all, you might, you know, identify with being goth too. Aha! I believe I am more goth than you. Yes! I didn't realize it was a competition. You are goth in your own way. I will say my hair is cooler than yours. No offense. Not I don't get too many options. It's very fitting. I like the way I dress. I feel badass. And that's what's important. You should. Plus, I think I'm stuck. Goth never dies. Nope. And we'll add those Good. in right now. And now that we're back, uh, we're going to continue on uh, because I just got the update that Morbius is available. And it was about what I said it was going to be, about a month I, I mean, apart, which is nice. Apologies, I was astral projecting that someone but what was... does we know he wants to work out? Let's go. It's the kind of guy that... Brock. Eddie. Is. Blanking. So I said, but I'm excited because we got that lady's purse or I'll eat your spleen. Nice. That is one way to take care of a situation. What happened next? Probably pissed himself, dropped the bag, and ran. I went home hungry that night. Like you know what a spleen is. <laughs> That's not a bluff. That's not a bluff at all. Do you even know what a spleen is or where to find it? No, but I don't think that would be a problem. Not really. How would you know you ate the right organ? Because I'm thorough. You eat all the organs just to be safe. I'm living the symbiote life. Is it hard to have a symbiote constantly affecting your emotions? Ooh, I don't think I've picked up new Actually, my symbiote gifts me grounded. in a while. Its emotions certainly influence mine, but it never makes me do anything I don't want. But you eat spleeds. <laughs> uh, so the symbiote is not forcing you to eat people's spleens? I'll try anything once. <laughs> as long as it's not an olive. What? <laughs> Seriously, I hate olives. Olives are great. But yes, try anything once. Maybe you like Muay Thai? Possibly. Magic for Normies. A stoic companion, maybe. Uh, sh Sure. Doesn't like to show Disliked? It, wow. That's unfortunate. So I got seven points out of that? Terrible. Ooh, Moitari Blay. Man. Alright, I messed that one up. History of the Squadron Supreme. Don't know what that means. Da -da 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 -da. Sure. Iron Man. Leather Mahogany. Alright. Time to go to bed and activate our newest hero. I'll save that for tomorrow. We gonna get the vampire Morbius. And of course, obligatorily, the title of this episode will be It's Morbid Time. Da -da -da. 
Uh, did we get new? All symbiotes are connected, like one big shared conscious family. That's how it usually goes, but not us. Venom was cast out. Wow, what if all spirits of vengeance were connected? We're all spiders. We're all exceptionally brilliant, unimaginable, handsomely cool people. Very funny, Tony. We're not connected. Ha! <laughs> exactly, Doc. Burn! Well done. Bombs dropped on both sides. Shield intel drop bob. Origin alpine coal. Clearance blue, sa blue sapphire. At 1656 CET, a Swiss train emerged from the Gothard Tunnel, reporting numerous panic and heart attacks amongst passengers and staff. No reported fatalities. Further investigation revealed a PDR, potential dimensional rupture, forcing the train through an unknown extra dimensional space. Passengers suffered no apparent unexplained time dilation. Nice. Officially crossing Swiss ski trip off my vision board. Enjoy the slopes, take a train through our nightmare pocket, and return in time for fondue. Nice. You'd make a horrible travel. That sounds great. What are you talking about? I, I would go on that travel plan. What's a travel agent? Face it, Tony. You're getting old. <laughs> Elsa Bloodstone wanted to give us the heads up. There's something bloody weird going on with vampires in London. Animal-like, compulsive, and hatches from an egg? Sounds familiar. So our feral blood-sucking friends have made it overseas. Just one. Elsa took care of it. No budget for a London expansion? Did I get it right? We should not expand, as you call it, and risk stretching ourselves too thin. If we can help it, budget has nothing to do with it, Mr. Wilson. Turd on a stick. I wanted to see the doc's infographic, infographic text trick in action. My trick? You must have me confused with someone else, Mr. Wilson. I do not practice infographic sorcery. Silly brain, I thought you were that British detective. You look just... <laughs> you look just like him. Almost like you're the same guy. That is also a nice uh, nod to the MCU's Benedict Cumberbatch being <laughs> Doctor Strange and playing in Sherlock, which is one of my favorite shows. That is a very nice one. Well done. Oh, hey. Hola, como estas? Do I really need to do this right now? Probably not. What have you got for me, boss? All right, let's get these two because they're purple. Later. And then I have something to talk to in the war room. Got it. Hopefully, it's related to Morbius. Carol, what you got for me? Is oh, Steve? Hey, hey. Nope. Probably. Caretaker. We tipped Shield to a hydro warehouse and they recovered a sizable stash of goods. Maria Hill offered us a cash bounty or the intel they found, but not both. Ooh. 29 credits is weak. We'll do that after. Nice. That's fantastic. What do you have? Last year, a guy broke into the Central Park Zoo and tried to feed on the animals. I just got the police transport. Oh. He admits to being a vampire and talks about Dracula's underwater base at the bottom oh. of the ocean. He's a loon. Uh, I don't know how to break this to you, but I helped cover that story for the bugle. The guy wasn't a vampire. He swallowed a pound of MGH. <laughs> a pound? Mutant growth hormone. Gives you temporary powers, but turns your brain into a mosh pit. Nice. He probably didn't know what he was saying. Incredible. Well done. Weird science, let's go. Oh yes, I knew it would be Blade. I 100% called it. Uh, it's weird that the Hunter's not going with us though. Spider-Man and Blade team up to find the once esteemed scientist, Dr. Michael Morbius. Yeah, jokes are kind of my... Happy to help. Now that the conversation is over. Getting reports from all five boroughs. More Hydra Troopers with fangs. Talk about making a bad thing worse. I've tried tracking down what they're up to. Find anything? Nothing that can still speak. I may know somebody who could help. Oh, really? No offense. This isn't exactly friendly neighborhood stuff. Not sure your contacts will be much help. He's not that friendly. Who? He's also not one of the bad guys. Mm-hmm. Exactly. A physician. Of sorts. Look, do you want to figure this out or not? Blade doesn't know? Ooh.
Oh, hey, buddy. What you doing? Are you drinking vampire blood? Is that even possible? I didn't think it worked that way. Morbius. Oh, you do know. Okay, cool. Blade. You've met? Gotta admit, I've never seen a vampire feed on another vampire. Right? I felt it. One Ew. I bit you one time. It wasn't fun for me either. You taste like an old barbell. Nah. <laughs> There's a cat fight joke in here somewhere, but I can't figure it out. <laughs> More like that Tell fight. Morbius, we need your help. Someone is turning Hydra troopers into vampires. We don't know why or what they want. According to the creature I just ate, they're after my research. I can tarry no longer. I must return to my lab before they. You're going nowhere. Don't have Excuse you. It was right in front of me. Uh, maybe we can help each other out. So, where is this lab? Damn, you got some claws. You get used to the stench. I know Ugh. you do. You don't have any eyes. You were right, Doc. We shouldn't have tarried. Is that a British joke? I see you've located the doctor. I hope he's feeling cooperative. Ooh, let's go! What do we got? Charm, target an enemy minion, they attack a random ally. Cool. Shadow Strike, chain three. Not bad, not bad. Uh, Quick Claw. This is a single target. Actually, what do you do? What do you got for you? Fill the hunger meter by playing Morbius cards to generate bloodlust. What does that do, though? Vampire, vampire, interesting. Okay, so it literally have to be the small guys. All right, then. Oh, we'll use it on you. Excellent. One, two, almost. That's ah, gonna have to be that way. Oh no! I can't do that. All right, interesting. Target has bleed plus 149. Well, no one has bleed, but that's a KO if I've ever seen one. 50% chance to turn into a minion. Problem. It's only 50% though. Nice! No transformation? No transformation. Apply a two mark to every enemy with bleed. We don't have anyone. That's free, but... We got one card play left. Interesting. Nope. Nope. Hmm. What do I have again? Nope. 
I got two attacking Spider-Man, one attacking Morbius. We're going to try to keep you alive. Ooh, that's going to hit him. That's unfortunate. That is very counterproductive to what I want to do then. Hmm. Okay, that was that helps. Awesome. Not enough, but it helps. Rude. Rude. Are they elites or are they minions? Claw. These things are hardly worthy of being classified as vampires. Not that I'm an overly protected of the title. Feeding on them. You know as well as I do, Reed. Your thirst, my hunger. <laughs> Some of us have tried harder than others. All right. I think you don't mind that you. And of course, the two I drew were the problem children. Next three Spider-Man cards are free. I have no more Spider-Man cards. Uh, exhaust, and I'm already at two. Um. Morbius, how do you got? Two hunger? Nice. Never seen that before. Bloodlust! Gain bloodlust and a 160 block. Damage abilities and counterattacks. Apply one bleed. Removed when he has no block. Cool! Cool, so he automatically applies bleed now, which is nice, which really helps with blade. Oh, thank you. Cause blade kinda sucks without a reliable way to get bleed. Damage and apply two bleed to each target in an area. Target already has bleed, deals a lot more. Why do I feel like Spider-Man's gonna die if I do that? I also don't see damage being dealt to Blade on this. Well, it says no one's getting damaged. Oh, please don't hurt me. It's coming for you. Dope. Okay. Woo! Oh, resisted. Thank you. Why did you resist? I forget. But Spider-Man is currently a target, which is bad. Ooh, you got a, a crit. Nice. I will use the weaker one of you. Mucho Gusto. Card play refund. All right, they're marked. So you were marked, not everyone else. Interesting. 163. But you did take damage this turn, so. Rather not have you do it. Oops. Still targeting Blade. Got it. That works. Oh, 
That is fairly tolerable. Main course has arrived. You didn't die. Interesting. Charm. Maybe you don't understand my path, Blade. I have surmounted one challenge after another just to reach this point. I am a Random target is you. Nice. Less nice. I have no choice but to feed. That doesn't mean I can't change at all. Damn, I really wanted to use chain strike. Probably deal with the bad guys, right? Who knows? Those trays. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I doubt they were expecting such resistance. Nice. I like his skill set so far. It's pretty nifty. Outfit's not bad either. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello. Nice. Nice digs. Holy crap. All my work. Lost. So I take it he's just permavant mode. There's no, there's no human form. No, no chill mode. What kind of work, Doc? This is twisted. Thought he was one of the good guys. I said he was not one of the bad guys. Knowledge has no gray area. Morality. This Very good. Is science. Tell it mm -hmm. to them. They'll be fine. Ah, they're Hydra minions. Eventually. What exactly are you doing here, Dr. Morbius? Research. A gamma serum flows through the blood of these Hydra soldiers, oh. augmenting their capabilities. It inspired me to concoct a prototype sample, a serum of my own. I thought it might dampen the effects of the sunlight on my abilities, but its protective qualities were far more effective than I expected. Oh. Are we talking Daywalker in a file? Morbius, tell me it doesn't work. Not yet. The prototype sample. Ooh, needs nice. So. Mature. But it's gone. Along with all my nerves. I'll have to start over. Or we can find who took it and get it back. Looks like they're back for seconds. Nah, they have the sample. They want to take out the only competition in town. Then we shall dissuade them. Fair enough. Defeat all enemies before they can destroy the device. Enemy reinforcements grow stronger over time. How many ways do I got? Allow them to destroy my work. Protect my equipment. You've okay. got some important details of your research, Doc. Some of them are better left unsaid. But it was all necessary. Why did I lose all my stuff? Yes, I know how the de protect the device missions work. Thank you. What is that bomb? Throw. Um. Excellent. Heard as bleed, known as bleed. No, maybe draw two cards. Next three cards to bleed. All right, that's good. We'll get rid of the whip. I forgot that heals.
That works too. No half Need as many of you down as possible. Delayed reinforcements. You have taken damage this turn, so that's plus damage. That's 25% chance to stun. Bleed and marked. Marked? How do you get marked? I don't remember. Let's get playing marked. But that's okay. Because we can hit him. We can hit him. And that's a freebie now. Alright. Apply to bleed. Get rid of all bleed. I need to stop you somehow. And I can't do that. Unless I do that. But I got time. 800 health. Let's figure out how to... Can't do that. Does not already have bleed. Wouldn't be enough to kill anyway. I still have a redraw, so let's... Aha! Definitely not enough. You attacking blade? We're good. Don't cross my path again. I thought that was supposed to apply bleed. I'll make quick work. Oh no, it's if they have bleed. Oops. All right, but now we're applying bleed, which is nice, especially with shadow strike. And. I think we can allow reinforcements this turn. Yeah, we're good. Root? This is wrong. Is it though? What Hydra has done with gamma injections was too profound to ignore. Is he even using this some kind of <laughs> It's Hydra. As opposed to the gentle treatment you and your friends give them. Big difference. Is it though? 23 health? That's so unfortunate. What do you have? 464 and 319? Damn. Pushing him is a little extreme, I think. So I was throwing it, but I also need to stun him to stop you from doing the thing. 349 versus 319. Nope, not good. Alright. Well, we gotta redraw that. Okay, I can deal with that. 
460? Why is it so high now? Oh, we got strengthened for one turn. Ah, that's right. I messed up. What do we have? 546? Blood sight. Rapid growth. What? I feel like I got cheated somehow. My research here can help yes, yes, yes. I've removed some of them from the front lines in the process. I don't see the harm. 146. Human experimentation and false imprisonment. Because it's, you know... Okay, one more wave remaining. Why would you tell me that? Damn, another one. Risk of being labeled unfriendly. Luckily, I have Quick Claw. What the hell? Visual glitches. I need to be able to draw, and I need to be able to heal because that's a bleed. Who are you targeting? Uh, we're at 307. Almost. Almost. Oof. But that is draw a card. Actually. Can I push? Can I do anything? Hmm. When did you get in the middle of this room? Honestly, I think I'm alright. I can get rid of this. Because I know I'm going to be able to get at least one kill this turn. Or two. And that gets me those two. Excellent. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Target is bleed, extra damage. Does not do that, though. Ready to up the ante. That's it. That was a little... Underwhelming for a finale. Don't you dare. Did it! Oh, wait. Alright, so it's just you targeting Spider-Man with the bleed. Don't mention it. Just to make sure you stay alive. It's good to have friends. Well, luckily there's no one on field to be affected by that. How many of you are minions? Enough of you are minions. Cause that means I get a free one. You're just lucky I'm working with the Suns again. As opposed to what? Me leaving you here to do things. Yes. 
It's exactly the one I wanted. Cause now I can do that. Like these, they give people like us a bad reputation. Uh, no one has bleed on them. Apply to weak. Nearby enemies take damage. Okay, we'll move. Or bind them. Three, not quite good enough, and you have a 25% chance to apply bleed. Got it. All right, his next attack is gonna knock out blade. I can see that. So we're gonna stop you from moving because I think that's a little too high. No bleed, got it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Just shy by one. What just happened? Damn it. Not what I wanted. There's nowhere to put him. Payback's gonna be fun. Hmm. That's fine. Running on fuel. Freebie. Make him super powered. Unnecessary, but now I see why you're always here. We go again. My Greek mythology is a little rusty, but did the Hydra originally have nine heads? Really gonna get hurt if you're not careful. Nice, nailed it. Two stars, not bad. The return of Morbius, the living vampire. I'm excited. I want to open the Gamma Coil. Give me some new vampy skills. Improve the ones we have. Which I don't even know if I got to look at all of them. Hey! You brought the stuff with! Oh, snap. We are not happy. Okay, okay, it's cool. Morbius is with us now. With us? You would bring a vampire into the Abbey. Well, he's not a vampire. Not exactly. What? If he was, he'd be dust. What? I came this way because of an experiment gone wrong, not a bite from a vamp. He's his own master, right, Doc? If I may, there are few judges of character better than Spider-Man. 
<laughs> Playing it. Pack me up your blade. As much as I hate <laughs> we could probably use his help. This once. That's all I'm asking for. Is the assist? Hunter, was it? Thank you for not making a bigger deal about my arrival. I know that's a pretty big deal. Unnerves many. Maybe we should call this a probationary period. I still have not made up my mind, so do not get too comfortable. Then let me beg for your patience. I think you will find that I am a man of many talents. You are a vampire expert. I already have one of those. I am the world's foremost authority on vampire physiology. Mm -hmm. Blade knows a great deal about vampire rituals, habits, and social order, but he doesn't understand their biology. Why should that matter? That's kind of important. In a sense, you could say Blade can take a vampire apart, but he can't put one back together. I do not want to put one <laughs> back together. Of course not. Let me put it like this. If We're not good with metaphors, though. The structure or euphemisms. Mechanism, you'll know its weak points, where to push so it falls apart. This is what I offer you. That's not my idea. Because we need dark points. You must earn our trust by following through on that promise. I see you are not easily impressed. No wonder Blade seems to like you. I think you'll be happy to know that I've actually already started researching vampire biology. That sounds like good news. Unfortunately, I also have bad news. I've mm -hmm. been tinkering with a prototype gamma serum that suppresses the effects of sunlight on vampiric membranes. The vampires have taken that from me. Then we must take it back. That is why I'm here. And I would love to get back to that research. Unless you have further need of me. Oh, we do have questions. Let's know a little more about you first. Naturally. I am an open book. Oh my god. I've heard you called a living vampire. What does that mean? It means that unlike most vampires, I have a pulse. How is this Ooh. possible? That's what that means, okay. Most vampires are tied to the supernatural realm. They are undead creatures. My gifts are a boon of science. I am wholly unique in that way. Quite literally a freak of nature. Mm-hmm. Who were you before you became a vampire? I was born with a rare degenerative blood condition. My disease would have proven fatal if I had not taken matters into my own hands and experimented on my body using vampire bat DNA. I cured myself, but there were side effects. You seem to know Blade and Spider-Man well. What is your impression of them? When I first became the living vampire, I struggled with my baser instincts. It took me a while to maintain control of my appetite. Spider-Man and Blade were the first two heroes I encountered, and they protected many innocent people from my wrath. Interesting. They fought you? Yes. But I am grateful, because they encouraged me to become a better man. Though I wish Blade's approach hadn't been nearly so ferocious. It's a little fair, I guess. I'd like to know more about your capabilities. Like a traditional vampire, I possess enhanced strength, speed, and acute senses. An accelerated healing factor allows me to bounce back from otherwise mortal injuries. And while I cannot fly in the traditional sense, I have the psionic ability to glide over great distances. Nice. Do you share other vampiric weaknesses? 
One of the advantages of being a living vampire is that I do not have those Achilles heels. I could drink holy water all day, and a silver bullet stings like a lead one. One slight exception is daylight. I do not burn under the sun, but my eyes are sensitive to the light, and my powers are somewhat dampened during the daytime. Do you have to consume blood like any other vampire? Regrettably, not only do I need to consume human blood, I crave it. But That's you not good. do not need to worry. I keep my cravings in check these days, and only feed on those who prey on others. Nice. Never mind. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Alrighty then. What else do we got? Some commentary from the crew. That one is open. It could be nice to have another side. Do we have hangouts? Nope. Blade. Are you actually comfortable with Morbius living here? Comfortable? I'll never be comfortable around that monster. But if I'm being generous, he could be useful. Well, we like generous. If this was a mistake, let me know. He will do whatever you think is best. Hey, I don't want that responsibility. If this goes south, I'm not taking the blame. What exactly is your history with Morbius? I don't like getting into that. But the two of you have fought before. What makes you think we can trust him now? I never said we could trust him. If that man loses control to his bloodthirst, I'll end him myself. But the vampires are using his experiments against us. We need him to clean up his own mess. So Morbius is just a tool to you. Call it whatever you want. I call it practical. That's fair. Enough. Anything else? As a man of science, he would probably agree with you. What happens if Hydra successfully replicates Morbius's prototype sample? Sunproof vampires seem like a bad idea for all involved. Maybe not for the vampires. For now, it's just a scary theory. Even if it works, there could be side effects, like new breed vampires bursting into flame upon contact with oxygen. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, wishful thinking. But prototypes can be unpredictable. Just to ask Hank Pym about Ultron. <laughs> oh, so Hank made Ultron in this one. What do we know about the Lord of Vampires? Honestly, if Blade didn't vouch for it, I wouldn't believe he existed. He certainly does. There's so much information about Dracula that it's hard to know what's fact and fiction. I wonder if he had a hand in that. Why are Hydra soldiers willingly turning into vampires? Define willingly. Willingly sounds strong. Influence. They must be extremely devoted to agree to such a change. Or more terrible. Only cost them their soul. Will do if they don't. I wonder how becoming a bloodsucker mixes with the gamma serum already in their systems. I bet that's one hell of a hangover. Thanks, Carol. See ya. Sorry we didn't give you a heads up before. You know, about bringing a vampire into the Abbey. It all happened kind of fast. Are you sure we can trust Morbius? Yeah. Morbius has his demons, but he's a teddy bear. A snarly teddy bear. With fangs, but there's stuffing in there somewhere. This is not helping your argument. Not particularly. What I'm trying to say is that Morbius has a good heart and exceptionally good blood. Good blood? Yeah. Whatever Morbius did to transform his body infused the heme in his blood with curative properties. I'd love to help him study it further if I ever have the time. Since we're fighting new breed vampires, we'd do well to have a living vampire in our corner. All right, fair enough. Uh, anyone else? Yes, Tony in the store. Forge. 
Oh, hey, everyone in here. Doctor, meet the doctor. Now, the Abbey has as many PhDs as you'd find on your average golf course. <laughs> We've met. Dr. Morbles. So really? Doctor Strange, still patrolling the spiritual realm, I see. Of course. I'd love to get set up as quickly as possible in here. Start learning the lay of the land so I can help out. I would appreciate that. Test tubes anywhere you'd like. Just don't touch any of my stuff. And there are several mystical artifacts in here that no one should look at directly. Don't look and don't touch. You really know how to make a colleague feel at home. <laughs> Just remember that's only an expression. And you don't actually own any of this. But we really are glad to have you. I can tell. Tony, what is your impression of Morbius? Well, we've never actually met, but Strange talks highly of him. I am uncomfortable inviting a vampire to live in the Abbey. Hey, I know what you mean. Half the people on my board of directors are vampires. Not literal bloodsuckers, <laughs> but they definitely try to sink their teeth into you. Yep. Or your pocketbook. Potato, potato. Maybe. The guy's a freak, no doubt. But every genius is. You should have seen half my professors back at MIT. Or that Tony Stark guy who's always in the news. If right? you feel any better, I've read a few of Morbius' papers on DNA manipulation, and it's years ahead of anyone else. He could be a valuable asset. So you think we can trust him? Well, I never said that. But he could be useful. Good to know. Steven, have you worked with Morbius before? Oh, yes. He is a formidable ally. He once assisted me in a battle against a fear lord from the dream dimension. Fear lords What's a fear are lord? powerful foes. Yes, it was a boisterous battle, so I was pleased to have Morbius at my side. Undoubtedly, he will be a favorable ally against Lilith as well. So you have no reservations about letting him stay in the Abbey? None at all. As long as he doesn't grow too hungry, we'll all be fine. <laughs> what should we do if he gets hungry? We should all be on guard. Stephen, I need details. As with any vampire, he could lose control and eat every one of us, but I do not think that will happen. Think. Checking in on me already, Hunter. I haven't had time to get into trouble. You can Yet. never be sure. I suppose. What can I do for you? Oh. I will let you settle in. Happy to talk any time. Why are you still there? Why does it still show up? Never mind. I will let you settle in. Thank you. All right. We successfully got our new vampire friend, and we're going to call it there. Uh, excited to try the new, or see the new DLC, and see what new abilities we have in store. Thanks for joining me. Until next time. Bye.